I'm Dr. Pantos. I'm the head of uh, the IVF unit here in Genesis Athens uh, Clinic uh, in Greece. It's uh, the largest IVF center in Greece uh, for the last couple of years. And uh, I would like to welcome you, a uh, warm welcome to Greece, uh, the country of, uh, uh, of sunshine, of the islands, of uh, tourism, and also of uh, uh, medical services. Uh, IVF in Greece uh, does offer all uh, methods uh, for treating uh, infertility patients uh, who are infertile. And uh, the last few years, medical tourism has had a huge uh, impact uh, in Greece on the one hand and also on the quality of services uh, offered to couples from abroad. Our main focus uh, of course has been research and innovation, research in areas where uh, we need to uh, uh, increase the pregnancy rate and also to treat women uh, who have not been offered, uh, who cannot be offered services like for example uh, women in menopause uh, who the only way they can be treated is through egg donation. Uh, so we have been using PRP, platelet-rich uh, plasma injections, by concentrating their platelets and injecting them into the ovaries uh, and thus try to uh, rejuvenate their ovaries. We have had amazing results from uh, this uh, treatment modality. A uh, woman at uh, late 40s uh, or in their 50s who have had a uh, rejuvenation of their ovaries in ovarian function for various periods of time and a lot of uh, publications on this matter and quite a few pregnancies. Pre-implantation genetic diagnosis is uh, one of our main uh, key uh, components here in the clinic uh, for various genetic uh, reasons like for example thalassemia or cystic fibrosis. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we have had, uh, we have been trying uh, blastocyst um, biopsy uh, from 2005 onwards. We were one of the few centers in the world at that time doing biopsies uh, in the blastocyst stage, now offered uh, by all clinics. Uh, there are over 44 IVF centers here in Greece and we do over 20,000 cycles a year. Uh, we have had successes in various aspects. Uh, for example, uh, we've had papers uh, even from the 1990s uh, showing that uh, egg donation um, has a very good chance uh, for success no matter what age. Uh, of, of course, uh, the law since 2005 uh, has a restriction uh, and we do offer services up to the age of 50. Though lately there has been a lot of discussion about changing this law and offering IVF uh, services to even older patients. Uh, surrogacy has been very successful. We are unique in the aspect that uh, there are a lot of um, surrogate grandmothers uh, getting pregnant with uh, their grandchildren. Uh, one such case was in uh, at the late uh, 2016 where a grandmother of 67 years old delivered after having had a uh, court case uh, approval uh, successfully her grandchild and uh, now they are uh, the whole family is very very happy. Uh, the medical services offered here in Greece have had uh, uh, have been um, world uh, known and, uh, and of course uh, patients from 67 countries, couples from 67 countries are coming to Greece at the moment in all centers around Greece uh, asking for services for in vitro fertilization, uh, for egg donation and uh, lots of these patients do have their own surrogates and uh, are asking services for surrogacy. Of course the unique uh, uh, the uniqueness here in Greece is about uh, through the surrogacy program the delivery uh, of a child is under the name of the biological parents uh, and so uh, the, the, the couple live with their child uh, under their name. Medical tourism has developed uh, with an exciting pace uh, the last uh, year, few years here in Greece 
because of the excellent services we do offer, because of cheap prices uh, in comparison to other countries, uh, because of our relatively lax uh, law here, which uh, where we can offer various uh, treatment modalities not offered in other countries. So, like for example, egg donation, unknown egg donation, uh, which uh, many couples from abroad would like to have. So we have patients coming from the States, a uh, popular destination is Greece, uh, from Australia, uh, where the egg donation is only with known donors, here in Greece uh, it's unknown, uh, from England, from the European unions, from countries as far away as Mongolia, uh, from uh, Africa, from Asia, from China, from 67 countries around the world. Uh, this uh, makes us very proud in that we offer not only quality but uh, in our services, but also we try to do our best to serve the couple's needs uh, in their right to have a child. We do have patients coming from uh, the European Union. Uh, of course, uh, Greece is a favorable destination for couples from the United States and also from Australia. And, uh, and uh, this has had uh, an ever-growing trend uh, through the last uh, few years and uh, now they number up to uh, the thousands uh, coming to Greece uh, not only for the medical services but trying to combine a uh, favorable destination, tourism destination too. So we do uh, offer a warm welcome uh, to the services offered here and also to having a good time in Greece at the same time a successful uh, time and, uh, um, and to be able to enjoy a child uh, back in their country when they deliver their child there.